Hi, I'm Kyle. Welcome to your new home. I'm here to show you around your apartment. So this is your service cupboard. It consists of a HIU, an MVHR, and a washing machine space for when you have it installed. This is your heat interface unit. It's fed from the communal boiler down in the basement. There's nothing you need to do with it at all. Don't need to touch it. Above, there are valves located, so you can turn it off in the event of any issues. And the power is located on the grid switch underneath the HRU system. I'm now going to show you how to take off the panel for the MVHR unit, which is the mechanical ventilation heat recovery system for the apartment. This is the MVHR unit. It controls the extract and the supply to the apartments. Don't ever turn the unit off. It needs to be kept on at all times to avoid any buildup of condensation or dust inside the apartment. And these are the filters. These can be taken out to be cleaned once every three to four months with a hoover to clear any dust or debris inside the unit. So we have the normal operation of the MVHR unit. You also have a boost operation. So when you enter the shower room and you turn on the light, you'll immediately hear the fan speed change on the system. That will eradicate any excess steam inside the bathroom. So you also have the vent purge, which is located inside the service cupboard on the grid switch. That will clear any of your cooking smells, smoke or steam from the cooker or hob. There's only one valve inside the service cupboard that you need to worry about in terms of turning off all the water for the apartment and that's this gray valve here. All you need to do is turn it horizontally to make sure all the water's off inside the apartment. This is the washing machine space. You have a washing machine waste, which your hose would then plug into. You also have a washing machine cold feed. This is what you plug your washing machine feed onto by turning the valve on horizontally in line. And you also have a power switch where you would plug in your washing machine. These are the radiators. They're situated in every room of the apartment. They're controlled by a thermostatic radiator valve and a lock shield valve. We ask that you do not touch the lock shield valve. If you want to turn down the thermostatic radiator valve, you simply turn it clockwise and to turn it back up, you'll turn it anti-clockwise. This is the control for your heating in the side of the apartment. You can turn it off and on via the button on top. To turn up the heating inside the apartment, you'll press the right arrow, and to turn down the heating inside the apartment, you'll press the left arrow. To control the temperature in the individual rooms, please use the thermostatic radiator valves to turn up or down. For any other settings for your heating thermostat, please refer to the manual. Here we have the tower rail heating, a spur, a thermostat which controls the tower rail inside, up five, down to one, and you also have a two hour boost. Now the boost lets you heat up a towel while you're in the shower, just for a short period of time. To turn off, push the button, turn off the switch. To control the MVHR boost, you simply turn on the light. You'll hear a fan speed change and it will continue until you exit the bathroom and be on for another five minutes. You'll then hear the fan speed decrease back into normal mode. Inside the bathroom, you have a toilet with a four litre flush and a six litre flush, which is on the flush valve above the toilet pan. You also have a basin with a tap, left to hot, cold to right, up and down to turn it off and on. You have a bath and a shower mixer, down to the bath, up to the shower on the mixer valve, and you have the hot and cold uh, on the right hand side of the mixer valve. To open the windows in the apartment, lift up the handle and pull the window towards you. The window will only open a fraction and that's a safety precaution. To close the window, push the window back in and pull the lever down. To open the door, similar to the window, you'll lift the handle up and you'll push the door out. To close the door, You'll pull the door towards you and you'll close the handle down. Hi, my name is George and I'm going to walk you through the electrical side of things inside the apartment. Um, and I'm going to start first with the fuse board uh, located on my right hand side or uh, as you're facing the service cupboard on the left hand side of the cupboard. Uh, this is the place where the electricity comes inside the apartment. 
uh, and I will present to you there's a main switch uh, and then there's switches for every circuit that power up the apartment. Located in the service cupboard, we've got the distribution board, um, we've got the recommended date uh, of the next inspection, and then we've got an AFDD error display, which is basically um, showing how the device inside the distribution board works. Um, we've got the main switch. Um, if you turn this off, uh, the whole power inside the apartment will be gone. And then we've got individual AVDs that supply individual circuits as the fire alarm, intruder alarm, general sockets, hobs, uh, and everything else in the apartment. Uh, if the light is flashing um, orange, then that means there's a problem and uh, we just have to reset uh, the switch by turning it on, pressing the button and turning the uh, switch back on. Also located in the service cupboard, just under the distribution board, uh, we have our grid switch that controls um, all the appliances inside the service cupboard, i.e. your washing machine, your MDHR or your HIU. Uh, with a click of a button, you can turn on or off um, all of these um, services, uh, but we recommend that you, you keep them on. Another service that we pride ourselves uh, to offer is the leak detection system, uh, also located in the service cupboard, uh, that monitors all the wet areas inside the apartment, i.e. your kitchen, uh, your bathroom, and obviously the washing machine inside the service cupboard. In case any of these uh, LEDs turn from green to red, that indicates there's a leak inside the apartment and most likely the water will shut down. In that case, uh, suggest that there is a leak and you should call maintenance uh, to investigate further. Located in the service cover, just under the MDHR, we got the telecommunication box where all your internet, data, TV is coming inside the apartment and then uh, goes to each media plate um, located in the bedrooms and the living room. Um, there's nothing for you to do as an end user. We would recommend that you get a specialist if you need a certain supplier for, for all these services. Just for your information, also located in the service cupboard, we've got the electrical meter, just for your personal information to know the consumption that you had for that month. So located in the living room and every bedroom, we've got the media plates equipped with power supplies, data points, satellites, TV and radio uh, for you to plug your television. Throughout the apartments, we have a different range of detectors uh, covering heat, smoke and CO2. Uh, if any of them go off, um, once you have checked there is no fire in the apartment, uh, you just need to keep the button pressed uh, for about five seconds. Located at the entry of the apartment, we've got the video door entry system. It has three different buttons, door open, opens the door, privacy, another button that doesn't do nothing because of the configuration uh, of the system. Obviously, once someone rings the display, um, the image will come up on the display. You pick up the handle, you answer, you can speak uh, with them. Uh, and then once you know who it is, uh, you just press the door open and it will um, open the door. There are two lifts in the building for your personal use. Please refrain from blocking the doors as this may cause damage and engineers will need to come and repair. Uh, other residents won't be able to use the lifts in the meantime. Um, also, in case of a fire, please refrain from using the lifts and use the designated escape route. Hello, my name is Vince. I'm the site supervisor for the access control. We're going to run through these three, but three buttons today. The first button is your push to exit, which you use on a normal day. Push and go. The middle one is your brake glass, which you'd use in a case of an emergency if there's smoke about or fire. Simply pull this up, push that, door automatically unlocks and you can go out. Third one is your fire one. If you see smoke or there's a fire, pull up, push, sets the alarm off, lets everyone know. This is refuse and recycling, which is on the ground floor at the front of the building. So you'll bring your bin bags down here. You'll have a fob, you'll fob through this door. On the other side of this door is where you'll place your bin bags in the allocated bins. This is the cycle storage in the basement and it is fob for entrance and contains enough for about 80 bikes. <laughs>